Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I am here with another build guide. In this video, we're going to be using a user requested price range of $450. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All the parts for this build will be located in the PC part picker link down below in the description. Prices are always subject to change, so check the link down below if you're watching this video in the future. First up, for the CPU, I chose the Intel Pentium G3258 dual core processor at a price tag of $66. This CPU is a dual core, but what it has up its sleeve is the ability to be overclocked. Doing so will make it on par with a lot of higher end CPUs out there on the market. And at a price tag of only $66, you cannot go wrong with this CPU. As for the cooler, I picked the Hyper 212 EVO for $20. Normally I would go with something like the Cryorig H7, but in this build on a very tight budget, the Hyper 212 EVO will do. This cooler will do great for cooling the Pentium and the awesome overclocks that you'll be able to achieve with this awesome little processor. As for the motherboard, we had to spend a little bit more money to get a good overclocking platform so we can get the most out of that Pentium chip. So we picked up the Azeroc Fatality Z97 Killer LGA 1150 motherboard for $75. Now this board is retail for over $100 but with a $30 mail-in rebate and that really makes me not be able to pass up this board. To be able to fit a high-end motherboard like this in such a small budget, giving us a very solid upgrade path to something like an i5 or an i7 in the future, makes this board very hard to pass up for this build. As for RAM, I honestly grabbed the most affordable 8GB kit that I could find, and that ended up being the Mushkin EC02 kit. RAM prices have been on the rise recently, which is very disappointing for budget builds, but at $42, this kit is on the cheaper side compared to the market right now, and will do just fine for this build. Now on to storage, where I chose a Seagate Barracuda 1TB hard drive for $42. Now I would honestly suggest that you could spend a little bit more money and pick up at least a 120GB SSD for a boot drive, because it is pretty much a night and day difference in overall day to day usability, but overall with the tight budget that we have, a 1TB hard drive would do just fine for holding your games and your operating system at the same time. As for the graphics card, I managed to get an Asus RX 470 Strix Edition video card for $144. This is an awesome price and is subject to change, so check the description down below. But this card is a beast at 1080p and paired with an overclocked G3258 processor, should perform great at 1080p. Now for the case, I went with the Rosewell Tear Fing, a $20 no thrills case that does a job for housing all the parts. There's nothing special about this case, but it's well built for the price, I've used this in personal builds before, and it will do the job for this build. Last but certainly not least is the power supply. I chose the Corsair CXM 500W 80 Plus Bronze Power Supply for $30. This is a great price for a solid power supply that will bring power to this build no problem at all. It is also semi-modular so you do have some help with cable management when it comes to doing that. This build after mail-in rebates comes in at a price tag of $448. Now this build's discounts are mainly from mail-in rebates, which I know may be a pain, but the performance you're getting per dollar here makes it worthwhile for those who are on a very tight budget and want to get into some high-end PC gaming right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you have any suggested price ranges, drop them in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe for more content from the Toasty Bros. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.